And now, in honor of one of my favorite holidays, 4th of July, here's how to make a remote control fireworks igniter. You only need a few things to make this. Some you may have around, some you may need to buy, but it's not going to cost you a lot. You're going to need a AA battery holder, one that holds eight. You'll also need a match, a one ohm resistor, a small switch if you have one, a long length of wire, and some electrical tape. Here's how to make it. First, we'll get our match and our one ohm resistor, and we're going to bend it around the top of the match. Then we're going to tape it in place and bend the ends out so it looks like this. Now take your length of wire and we're going to strip both ends. One end is going to go to our little switch and that's also going to be wired in place with our battery pack. Basically one wire will go to the switch and the other wire will connect to one wire and the battery pack. Then the other wire on the battery pack goes to the other end of the switch. Now it's time to load up a fresh set of AA batteries. The other end of our wire is going to go to the resistor. Now if you have a pair of alligator jumper cables you might want to use those. It makes it easier or you can just attach the wire directly to the resistor. So here's how it works. We'll attach our alligator clips or the wires directly to the resistor, and now we press our switch. The resistor heats up and ignites the match, which will ignite your fireworks. Here's what it looks like in action. Now I know many of you are gonna say, well, I just light them and throw it, or I just light them and run away. Well, I guess that's okay, but this would work great for a large explosive display. It'll keep you safe and you won't lose a finger. And that's how to make a remote control fireworks igniter. For more cool projects and to subscribe, click the box on the left to go to my channel. And for more explosive videos, click the box on the right. Happy 4th of July and thanks for watching.